good evening. It was a momentous day in Paris, as the iconic Notre Dame Cathedral reopened nearly six years after a devastating fire. Restored with advanced technology and painstaking craftsmanship, the historic landmark is ready to welcome visitors once more. In the heart of Paris, Notre Dame Cathedral stood as a timeless symbol of Gothic architecture, faith and history for over 850 years. Until April 15, 2019, when a devastating fire tore through the cathedral, believed to have been started by either a cigarette or a short circuit in the electrical system. The fire caused immense damage, destroying the roof and iconic spire alongside an estimated 5% to 10% of its artwork. In the hours and days following the fire, nearly $1 billion was pledged by some of France's wealthiest figures, including CEOs and founders of firms like LVMH, L'Oreal and Total. The first step was to secure the structure. Over 200 tons of debris were carefully removed, revealing the scale of the challenge ahead. Restoration efforts brought together experts from around the world. Master carpenters, stonemasons and engineers worked tirelessly to restore the cathedral to its former glory. Teams are now using traditional techniques alongside modern technologies to recreate intricate details from the original designs. State-of-the-art technology, including 3D laser scanning, was used to create precise models of the damaged areas. Luckily for the architects, French gaming firm Ubisoft had previously laser scanned the entire structure so that it could be recreated for its 2014 game, Assassin's Creed Unity. The firm handed over the data to the reconstruction teams and pledged $500,000 towards the project. Meanwhile, 3D printing technology was utilized to recreate complex architectural details in order to ensure precision and historical accuracy while speeding up the restoration process. For the roof, an intricate wooden framework known as the forest had to be reconstructed from scratch using oak trees selected from French forests. One of the key engineering challenges was constructing the scaffolding around the fragile structure. Engineers designed a custom scaffolding system that provided support without putting undue stress on the weakened walls. Reinforcing the foundation was another critical task. Engineers injected special grouting materials into the ground to strengthen the soil and prevent subsidence, ensuring that the weight of the new roof and spire could be safely supported. Modern fire safety measures were integrated into the restoration that were blended with the traditional architecture as much as possible. This included installing advanced fire detection systems, sprinkler systems and fire-resistant materials to ensure the cathedral is better protected against future fires. Engineers also introduced modern materials and techniques to enhance the cathedral's resilience. For example, the new spire, while visually identical to the original, incorporates lightweight and fire-resistant materials. With the cathedral reopened in December 2024, some 140 million euros in donated funds are still left over, which will be used for future preservation. Today, Notre Dame stands as a testament to human resilience and dedication. And while there's still work to be done, the public can now see progress that has been made towards restoring this historic landmark since that terrible night in 2019.